yes. If you are wanting to get into drumming, then just have a look at big brands, but look at their lower line drums because it's the same quality, just a very different price tag because of the wood types. Don't go for something like Bob's Basic Drums because... <laughs> <laughs> Bob's Basic Drums? That's cracking! <laughs> <laughs> because they will sound horrendous. Just go for a pearl rhythm, a pearl... That's what I started out on. And that's what... No, I didn't. I started out on a white horse maple kit and actually fantastic sounding. Once you take the stock heads off, just put some pinstripes on it, or depending on what you want to hear, put some pinstripes on it, tune it up really nice, set everything out. Symbol wise, that's where eBay comes in. You will be picking up some second hands. If you are just practicing, you don't need to be recording because you're a beginner. Just if you have to get crap ones, that's not a problem. You're improving your own style. You're not going for the best sound possible because it doesn't matter because you're learning. So, setup wise, I think for a beginner, not so you're too. I think two up, one down, snare, hi hat, crash, crash, maybe a splash, a ride, and maybe even a china. I think chinas are great to play with. I think it makes you a lot more creative. If you so, if you're doing a heavier style anyway, a China can be used. I think Robbie Williams drummer has a China so. But they can be used across the board. Yeah, bottom, it's but, an effect pedal. But yeah. for <laughs> it's not an effect pedal. I'm talking oh, for fuck's sake, man. But it's an effect symbol, so it just varies. But if you want a simple hi hat, fourteen inch crash, sixteen ride, twenty. 20 bass drum, 14 snare, 10, 12, 14. Just a simple kit and you can do incredible things on that. And advice and tips, I think advice will be patience. You really do need to be patient. You're not going to sound incredible immediately. I mean, I've been doing it for years and I still sound shit. So. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> um, just persevere with it and just practice. Watch everybody else's videos, whether they're shite or whether they're good, and just try and take a little bit on board. Don't try and jam it all in your head in one time. Just take your time and think about it. What's important is that you don't get ahead of yourself. You need to build up your ability, but don't let your head control it. You want to do what is within your capability. That's what I would say about drumming. I'd say, for a beginner starting <laughs> out on guitar, there's a million different things you can buy for next to no money to get you started up an acoustic or electric guitar. The, for, for drums it's a bit different because you have to spend a little bit of money to get something that's even half decent. I would say you're looking at the 600 price tag really if you're wanting a sound that is definitely good and... Yeah, but with, with guitar you pay 100 quid you can get a Squire starter pack and that's going to sort you out to learn on. And even if you have to get a fucking plank of wood with some lucky bands stuck to it, just pick up a guitar and play it. Just pick it up and play it and sit there and you sound shit, you sound shit, that's how it is. You're going to sound shit to start with. Well, just push it. through it. Don't listen to people saying, oh, you shit, you... Uh, well, do listen to them, actually. No, yeah. don't not listen to them. Do listen to them. Listen to them and use that to fuel you to get better. Just play. That's that's my biggest tip for a beginner, just play. Just yeah. play every minute that you... Every minute that you can play, play and learn to love your instrument, just learn, just build that relationship with your guitar and just play. Just sit there and play for as long as you can. For as long as your attention will let you do it, just sit there and play and you will see progress. Not straight away, people, if, you, if you're going to get pissed off because you're not I, I, was I was actually away. winding him up today because he kept fucking up in the same part and just to make sure, I just make sure just making sure that you were just, oh, pace off, I'm going to do it. Just to give them that kick up the ass that they kind of want. But yeah. No, yeah, do listen to criticism, but 
when it's criticism. Don't take it all to heart. When it's criticism, where it's somebody saying you shit. But I get before. This oh, yeah. was fucking terrible, mate. That was terrible, mate. On YouTube, what use is that to anybody? Thanks for your opinion. I hope you enjoyed the five seconds that you spent typing that comment. <laughs> I've taken no notice and you've wasted your time, yeah. prick. And you've watched my video, cheers. <laughs> um... I think if you walk down on my channel, you'll see that it's partway. <laughs> Are we coming back to Partway Drive? <laughs> Are we doing this again? I don't think we can do it again, to be quite honest, because my mouth's Look at my top! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, I'm alright. Um, yeah, Partway Drive, because Ben's got a really good drumming style, so it's nice and easy, that's that done. Um, who else? Offspring, I do. I, I like covering Offspring, it's a really funky, poppy. Punky sound. So. I would I wouldn't say that I really like covering in particular any artist, but I like I like to pick out a certain riff and just learn that riff and then you don't need to learn the rest of the song. Just if you want to know that riff, just learn that riff and then you can play that riff and then you can play that riff and then you can play a different riff and that's what makes guitar fun. I get to be honest, I get really fucking bored sitting there playing a full song through. It does bore me. Bores me to fuck. With drums, I don't have time to get bored. It's that physical, you just don't get a chance to be bored. You can get frustrated, Christ, you can get frustrated, but not bored. Because there's always going to be that point in a song on guitar where it's easy, and you just... Uh, and it's just like... They, I, I, this I just, is on your screen right now. <laughs> I just this is a real thing. <laughs> much rather play one riff than learn the full song. Nice. Um, my favourite place in the world is my. A haven, it's Javier in Spain. I'm not going to tell you where in Spain, you can do your own research, but it's just an incredible place. I would happily up and move there tomorrow, I really would. It's got everything you need and everything you want. Um, if I could go anywhere in the world. Where do I really want to go? I suppose I really, really want to go to Thailand because the food. Asia, I suppose that's not a country, but Asia, I want to go to Asia, I want to go to Bali, I want to go to Thailand, I want to go to India. It's mainly because of the cuisine, but the people are incredible in Asia, they're interesting and you go to one place and it's just completely different. You go to China, it's the opposite of Indonesia. You go to Thailand, it's the opposite of bloody Thai, Japan, whatever. Yeah. It's, it's all different. The cultures are incredible there. And you see all these document. well, we see all these documentaries because um, of bands that go there and play gigs there. And it's just eye-opening and that's what I'd really like. My favourite place that I've been to is Amsterdam. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming, did ya? Because... Drugs. Well, <laughs> there's drugs. If you want drugs, there's drugs, but it's also a really nice city and the way it works is just insane. Like there's that. there's no, no rules. It's, it's just... He, he responds well to a lack of authority and rules. There's just scooters riding on the pavement. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> that just chaotic. Not really any roads or pavements as such. It's just all kind of a road, and you either walk or ride a bike or ride a scooter or get run over. <laughs> yeah, basically, and it's just mental. And I just, I just loved the place. I thought it was excellent. I went, I only went for a shot for a three day weekend and. I just thought it was excellent, I just thought it was a really good place, but... I think if you stayed any longer you might have died. 
Maybe. No, I might have been able to do at least in a week. <laughs> Dead certain <laughs> death. <laughs> but uh, two places <coughs> that are my places that I really want to visit. Bucket West, isn't it? Uh, Australia. Anywhere in Australia. I just really want to go to Australia because I think it's in New South Wales. It's gorgeous. I and can't surf, but gorgeous. I'd, 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 I'd really love to go and live in Australia for a little bit because yeah. I just love the whole idea and everything of Australia. So and then I love Spain. my uh, second one that I really want to go to, which is a bit of a curveball, I suppose, is Hawaii. I really want to go to Hawaii. I can't really. Describe why I really I, want to go I, to Hawaii. I think I know why. I you just, watched the Miami Ink Hawaii special and saw them getting original. Oh, I would tattoos. love to get a tattoo by the incredible by them kind of people, but incredible. I, don't, I don't know. There's just something about Hawaii that really appeals to me. Just I'd but love I to stay. Your time. <laughs> I'd love to stay in one of them little shabby huts on a beach and yeah. just. I wouldn't mind going Hawaii. to the Caribbean if we're just naming places we want to go. With. I think we could name places we don't want to go. I think that'd be quite fun. Uh, I have absolutely no desire to go to North Korea. <laughs> I don't think anyone with half an ounce of sense has any uh, any desire to go to North Korea. I have no desire to go to that place of Guatemala. I do not want to go there. No, no. But that's that's that's, that's similar I'd love with to go to Russia because the music scene in Russia is incredible. I just wish we could have the vice, the touring ability to just yeah book. Let's go there. Let's go there. It'd be let's great, wouldn't it, to just go around the world? But somewhere I'm trying to think of somewhere that I have absolutely no desire. The camera a bit more. No desire to go to China. I don't want to go to China at all. I was watching the Grand Prix, so you can probably date this, I'm an F1 fan, and I was watching it, and the weather is atrocious, it's pollution, central, it's just smog. Uh, people um, talk about China and I just don't want to go. Oh. I don't know why, but every time I think of China, I just think of, I just associate it with a headache, a migraine, and I don't know why, but... Yeah, no, I really don't want to go to China, but apart from that... I can't think of anywhere else that I could say. I, I don't think I'd be a bit bored in New Zealand. Yeah, but there's nice beaches and shit in New Zealand, like yeah. really nice scenery and stuff. So Albania, I'm alright. Uh, yeah, Albania. We'll, we'll give Albania a miss. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. That's the first place we end up finding. Right, the Albanians want us, so they can lynch us after the show. Uh, kind of mentioned this before, whenever inspiration takes us, or whenever, whenever we can, I always feel a lot more conf confident and comfortable, not the same word dickhead, when I've got an empty house. I can make as much noise as I want and I know no one's going to be listening, so I think that's good. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you just have to have the self-discipline of, right, you're doing that today. You've pissed around all week, dude, bugger all. You're doing that today, and the self-motivation thing for the beginners as well. Discipline yourself. Make sure you don't spank yourself. That's just weird, but make sure you control when you do it because if you get lazy, you're never going to improve. And it's really as simple as that. That's how lazy this way. He's actually on his phone in the middle of doing this. <laughs> that is the extent of the professionalism. Thank you for your time. That's it. <laughs> Um, how often do you practice? Recently, every day. Really? Well, that's good. Yeah. That's really good. It shows. Recently, though. No, I'm not going to say Is that. this the last two days? Because I know that. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, no, I'm actually being yeah. de deadly serious. I'm, I'm not going to say, I practice every day religiously. Well, you don't need to be plugged in, do you? I'm going to have to make a noise. Yeah, but I... Because I've got so many guitars just lying around. And you just see it and want to play it. Yeah. <laughs> I just walk past it and I think, oh, I'll have a little play on that. And even if I'm not plugged in or whatever, it doesn't matter. I'll just have a little, have a little tiddle and then I'll put it down and I'll... What was the term you noodling. used before? Noodling. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's nothing really. It's just kind of him making his own thing up. He's just noodling. <laughs> 
to a drummer's ears, that is ridiculous. Oh, what do you say before I play your guitar, that strap? <laughs> My strap on's backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Why is, why is my strap on backwards? Yeah, why is my strap on backwards? Jesus Christ, I poured a face to that one. I wish we were recording that because I was in tears. <laughs> For me, definitely. I used to get shocking aches in my calf and thigh muscles when I was just really learning to play double bass, but now it's second nature. I think it completely depends on what I'm playing because if it's original stuff then not really. Yeah because, because you adhere to yourself don't yeah. you when you're riding, you ride exactly. comfortably. But I did notice this week whilst I was drumming the cover that we're doing at the moment uh, that this hand which I use for crashing and hi-hats and things and sometimes snare if it's a roll and fills uh, that I must have been gripping the sticks in an awkward way. I think I grip the sticks differently for a different song, which is weird and probably not very good to do. Oh, that's shocking in English, but it's not very advisable, I suppose. It's not ideal, but... And I noticed that I was getting a shocking blister on that finger, little finger to the palm, and nothing on this one and it's weird so aches and cramps and tips on that um do it yeah, just keep doing right. it power through but don't overdo it because you won't be able to the do worst, it the day the worst ache or cramp Never when, you, when you're playing much, guitar but... is or for me anyway when i when i first got into my in my band the, the style that we were playing in, I had to use a lot of bar chords and my, my own style is metal and punk and hardcore and you don't really use bar chords that much with the exception of punk I suppose but then again you're still more using power chords than bar chords and what you get when you're playing bar chords when you're not really used to it is you get a really dull ache in the bottom of your thumb and it just it gets worse and worse as you play more and it's the same if you're playing on a guitar with a high action you get, if you play bar chords on a guitar with a high action you get, you get an A in your thumb and it's, it's pretty bad actually sometimes but uh, another thing that I'd say for aches or cramps is I've, I've recently while I've been playing with you I've started up in my string gauges because we want to do lower tuning so I've started going to much thicker strings and that's going to take more yeah, to play you, you do you do notice and you can feel you, that yeah, there when you well it's it's more in your in your fretting I don't know hand why I'm telling you that I don't fucking play you tell yeah, shut it's, up it's more <laughs> it's more in your fretting hand but I mean the thing with aches and pains and things is that they're a good thing, they're showing you that you're pushing yourself and you, you're making your body work, you, you're pushing yourself physically to extend your ability which is always a good thing. I'm just reading these questions, absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much to everyone that's uh, sent these in and thank you to Wim because she asked me a few questions. Um, we're going to take a short adjournment whilst we... I need a piss! <laughs> yeah, isn't he absolutely fantastic? I think we've got another... Oh, we've got another few questions, so probably another hour. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it depends how... Well, it sounds it's simple enough in answer, but it depends how it's hit and miss with editing, syncing especially. I can spend hours upon hours just syncing, or it can just fit and it'll just work. So, on an average cover, I'd probably say I spend two days editing, which is bad. I mean, if I had proper editing software, it would definitely not take me that long, but I'm on a budget, so I can't really afford that. So, I'd say one to two days to edit. Um, sometimes you've edited stuff 
the audio tracks because as a drummer it's quite difficult to sync music to the guitar perfectly because I'm not I can hear it but you can feel it so that's what helps with that so good question thank you dead well he has an opinion on this <laughs> I won't be dead in five years, I don't think. Might be close, but I don't think I'll be quite there. Is that it? Is that your contribution? No. <laughs> okay. Um, five years? Is this, a, is this in relation to the pipe dream? Because I'd love to think that we'd have some serious gigs going on. We'd have an EP out, we'd have members. I'd have a shitty job still, because that's just all you can get, really. <laughs> That'd be the dream, wouldn't it? Yeah, just have a job that pays bills, but using music as the career, that would be absolutely incredible. I'd like to be in a different house. I'd like to be living on my own or with, I suppose, living with you. Just, it'd be a good setup. We could jam whenever we wanted. We could commute. It'd be ideal. I think that's uh, what I'd want. In five years, that's at 27, fucking yeah. hell. Um, Probably still carrying the same ludicrous amount of alcohol. But... Honestly, I don't care where I am in five years. No, take each moment as it comes. Yeah, I don't, I don't think... Well, I that's don't, not the question that's in front of us, is it? I don't think, that's my kind of I don't mentality. think in that... In mentality. that kind of way, I don't think <coughs> about in five years. Oh, but, no, just a ginger. <laughs> <laughs> but... Um, I would hope that in five years I'll be comfortable, and if, in music terms, if it doesn't work out, then I'd like to be a business owner in five years. We, we've discussed another pipe dream of owning a business together, because I think we'd be fantastic at it. Maybe mm. not at first, but trial and error. Maybe not now. Ways. Not now, but Because of all the profits would be spent on... Getting shit faced. But and gear. But well, if we had all that gear, we. Yeah. No, yeah, I've, uh, I've been studying for the last three years and yeah. it's. You've well, been attending. To an yeah. extent. Fucking hell. What have you been doing? <laughs> Getting high. Smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in here for the fall. Yeah. But no, uh, I've been studying for the last three years and it's not really worked out for me. I've not enjoyed my course. Yeah, I, I haven't felt that it's been of any fucking value to me. I've enjoyed the lifestyle. That's been a very good part of it. The life the lifestyle has taken its toll. Yeah, the life experience is good. It's 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 great, but the it actual, makes you more independent. Yeah, that's for damn sure. You the can't... actual course and the shit that comes with it, I don't feel that it's been useful to me at all, and I'm not going to come out of it with a good grade and. To be honest, I've wasted a lot of money on it, but I've had fun for three years, so... That you wouldn't have had otherwise. Yeah. I'd, otherwise, I'd been doing the same thing as I was doing for the last 18, year, 18, 19 years of my life, and we all know where that got me, so... What were you doing at the age of four? First part of the year, he had a miniature... <laughs> ...in his sippy cup. Probably fucking fighting Mason for his food. <laughs> <laughs> You're still eating my cat's food, that's one. Now, this is a fucking horrendous question, and it's you, Lind. I'm blaming you. This is fucking atrocious. Because you know full well what is about to happen. I dare you to switch instruments for five minutes, jam, and film it. Now, I'll do that. <laughs> I'll do it. Definitely. That's great. That's excellent. Now... I tried to play his guitar oh, yeah. before. For some reason, when he touches a guitar, it just makes a horrendous sound. Even if he doesn't do anything to it, it just makes a fucking horrendous noise. I think it's my presence. <laughs> For no apparent reason, it just wails. He held the guitar and didn't touch it, and I use a noise suppressor pedal, so when you're not touching the guitar, there's, there's no feedback. It's just out yeah. of piss. He, I gave him the guitar and so much noise 
<laughs> and then he wasn't touching it and just noise. Just and then he passed it back to me. I touched it the same amount as he was touching it and it was deadly silent. But I, I, um, I will jam about on an acoustic I've got one lying around every now and then, but I'll do it. I'm happy to do it. I think it'd be quite interesting. If you can, <laughs> definitely if that's, be hilarious. That's the most viewed video on my fucking channel. Me making a complete tit of myself trying to play a guitar <laughs> and you just hitting things. I think that could be a good video. When do you an absolute bitch? Thanks. For that. <laughs> that's excellent. If that was I'm you. excellent thing about my answer to this question is that I've already played my favourite venue in the UK and it's now gone so that chance will never exist ever again and I've already played there so that's my answer. Moho in Manchester I've already played there it was such an awesome venue unfortunately it burnt down for the second time in this video you are seeing them I think there was probably a petrol can and some matches involved in that burning down somewhere, but... Ah, <laughs> ye of little faith. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, Moho, my favourite venue in on the planet, my favourite venue in the world that I've been to, and I've already played there, so that's my answer to that question. Having never played a show, my opinion is probably a little more the dream than anything, but designed, I suppose, is a question. I'm not going to go for something stupid like Wembley or something like that because I don't want to play there. No. Boring. I'd love to play Download. I really sick. would. That'd be sick. The crowds. Oh, lock up stage at Leeds. Lock up. It'd yeah. be sick to play lock up. I think up there's at something Leeds, said about intimate, but I think there's something said about that sheer amount of people that have come to see you. But you know what's bad about festivals? The sound. The sound at festivals is always shocking. It's always shit because nobody's got a sound check, you just gotta get on and get back off. It's always shit. American Warp Tour. Yep, what? Not because of the weather, because it looks absolutely brutal. I completely agree. Warped. I'd but, love to play Warp Tour. Yep. It'd be or, sick. It'd be warped, I'm happy with Yeah, warped, I agree. I think that's a great warped tour. Warped would be sick, I'd love to play warped tour. in America, tour. whether it's you, well, it's can't be UK if it's international dickhead, but yeah. I've seen quite a lot of bands' yeah, opinions US. on this, and uh, especially Matt Grainer, because he's a beast of a drummer for Erg, or August Burns Lloyd. Yeah, August Burns Red would be the band's name. Um, <laughs> And he said the conditions for a drummer are just insane. It's pushing 40 degrees on stage and you are physically pushing yourself to the best to put on the show and it's just mental. So yeah, walked up. That's incredible. It always looks really good. Completely agree. A long fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I completely disagree with that, which is weird because it is us two just... It, it depends. No, that, was a, that was a joke. Uh, a bad one. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't hear any laughs. Because <laughs> um, there's two of us in the room. And the I people watching the video aren't actually here. Thank you. I... no. Um. I suppose it depends on what mood you're in. Sometimes it's just instant. Or sometimes we just sit down and get pissed. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't go to plan. But when, when we do, when we're actually in a jamming mood and we jam it, it doesn't take us very long to get into it. Minute. Or we just set Minute up and play. So. Just That's set up it. and play. If you got to this point in the video, I would like to. I commend you. Very much. you. Because it is a long video. Boring shit! <laughs> but if you are actually interested and you want to hear us answer more questions, if you've actually enjoyed this video, then just tell us and ask us more questions. Uh, 
I'm always available on social media. I've always got my links in my videos at the beginning. Um, or comment on this video. So, if you want to know Please. something... If you want to, we've not finished the video. If you want to know something that we've not answered or been asked, then just pop it down and we'll save it up for next time we've got enough questions because I, I really enjoy doing this. It's really fun. It is. I'll do it. Peace.